Okay, so I'll be posting this review in two videos, I think, because my computer just does what he wants. What the fuck? And then, yeah, the the point I was going for is um, I because it this movie builds on really, and that's that's a problem with. Gavin O'Connor films that I have like that's if I take the content in this movie it has a very um, similar structure and it talks about very fucking um, it, it, it's completely uh, different different uh, themes and different uh, one's an action movie and a thriller and the other is a fucking uh, pure core drama uh, slow burn uh, so it's not it's not the same thing at all but there were issues with the structuring because there are things I would have want to know before the third act and there are things I would have wanted to see happen in the character growth um, before um, the fucking end, and um, and it's the it's my only problem with the way back because so much happens near the end. It's all just jum jumbled together, and the the end is very cathartic and it's great, and it's a good movie in whole. But you could have, you could have achieved so much more by just staying five or ten minutes more with the character, like feeling himself and uh, like I mean you you spend uh, twenty minutes of basketball and one and a half minute on his son's grave. I mean, this is the point, this is the drama, this is the core, this is why, because, I don't know if it's just me, but I really felt that that movie was about alcoholism and redemption. If you want to, if you want to, to, to add uh, dead children, sick children in it, fine but making impactful making i mean it's already impactful in itself you don't have to do anything so just set it straight for um not the beginning of the movie but say the second act and because we already had a scene where he meets his ex-wife in a diner and they don't talk about it at all so if you have if you had introduced the uh, fact of the dead son there i could have been more um, sticking more to the character than by knowing it only at the three quarters of the movie so things like that but anyway cheers i'm glad that ben affleck got to do this film i'm glad that he was um, I'm glad that he was um, humble I'm glad that he was humble enough to see us see that part of himself 
because if you take on Hollywood and see how many people have drug or alcohol problems, you're going to be there for a while because there are lots of them. But few of them admit it, few of them live through it, and few of them rise from it. Fewer, even. So I salute Ben Affleck for leaving himself so open to um, a rough, rough patch of his life, a rough patch of his career. Um, all things were in shambles. And I mean, playing the great greatest hero of all time really didn't um, turn out like he wanted, like any and like I wanted and anyone else wanted. So uh, I uh, I understand that from him, and I it just a bit of. Um, Uh, a benediction that um, he got to made him make a movie uh, while going through this and making a movie true tr um, I hope some healing some uh, capturing his dark times and true um, I mean, just portray himself as he saw himself and as maybe other people in his life saw him. And I think it's very incredibly brave to do. And it must have been incredibly hard to do. So I won't take much of your time. It's part two. I just say, um, if you're not on the Ben Affleck train yet, um, I mean, go see, like I've said, go see Triple Frontier, go see The Way Back, go see um, um, the movie with Anna de Arbras, uh, God damn, I forgot the name. Give me a sec. Yeah, sorry. Go to see Deep Water on Amazon. Go see The Tender Bar. The Tender Bar. Great, great movies. Excellent performances. Um, great pieces of art uh, and you can see Ben Affleck at the top of his game uh, top direction top creative team everywhere uh, and I don't know if he has a gig with Amazon but um, uh, Amazon is all I have for now so he is doing some fucking great things with them and I know it's a past a few years but um, um, whatever trust me go see go watch them you will not use your time and if you're losing your time and if you don't like it leave a comment and say fuck you virtuoso you wasted my fucking time and I'll say I'll I'll, I'll, um, I'll take it on me. So um, yeah, and uh, last thing, I'll just leave with um, alcoholism because I want to make a separate video, but fuck it, nobody watches anyways, and I don't. I feel like it, and it's appropriate for this um, the way back review. So, um, I have to say that, um, I don't know why these things happen. 
I don't know why we... Like, I've never been a drug person. I've never taken any drugs or illegal shit. I've never been attracted to that. I've never been. I don't know why. Maybe I should. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's the fucking shit. But I'm not interested. And um, so alcohol is accessible, cheap. Um, uh, so... When you have demons to burn and you have angels to burn um, every night, plus it helps me sleep, knocks you down. For, for, for people who have problems sleeping, like me, it fucking knocks you out. If you take some pills, it will knock you out greatly, greater. I don't recommend it. I'm not saying do this. I'm not saying take alcohol with your pills. Never do as your physician tells you to do. I'm not just a reminder, just for caution, just for the law. I am telling you to not take alcohol with your prescription medicine. Do not. Okay, I'm just talking about me. I'm not talking about anyone else. Thank you. So, yeah, but <sighs> the last thing I'll say is that Five years ago, I had like the like Jack Cunningham in the way back. I had a life. I had uh, I had a beautiful girl at my side. I had a beautiful apartment. I had a beautiful life. And the sickness engulfs everything. And then uh, It's not fair because because fourteen years. No, I'll I'll do a separate. No, this thing's too heavy for that. Okay, so cut it out. Cut. Um, go watch the way back. Go watch Tender Bar. Go watch Deep Water. Go watch Triple Frontier. Go watch all the movies Ben Affleck did around his presence as Batman and uh, you will uh, thank me for it because it's great great actor great directors great uh, great movies and uh, we should um, yeah we should cherish it and it's a uh, great artist and um, for those who he came with, at the Hollywood with Matt Damon and for those who I mean the only play if for those who are at the, the in the Matt Damon, Matt Damon train I'll say well I benefit like a lot more because he's doing very different things and just like when he did Gone Girl, uh, just like he, he, 
he always makes very intelligent, very precise choices. And he's a very um, precise artist. And he gives himself, he has a lot of nuances in all of his performances. So, um, um, movies doesn't, don't, movies don't need to cost $200 million for them to have weight. So, trust Ben Affleck and uh, you won't be disappointed. So, true guys, take care.